Hello. Let's see if we can finish this thing. Let's see if we can finish this off. Hello, Zayo. Hello, Mace. Hope you're both doing good. <sighs> right. Costs a lot to level up now, huh? Like a lot, a lot. Honestly, my memories of Drag Heap are just. Everything's really annoying, so run around all of it. <laughs> All I could remember about this place. Especially that bit up top. Um, hello. What was that? <laughs> Some shenanigans just went on there. I get the distinct feeling that was not spent to pop up. Angels are still as irritating as ever. How's they? Okay. Not great, not terrible. Why? It's happening when I when I lock on to things. That's never been an issue. It's also happening when I hit this enemy. I feel like these enemies might not be quite coded properly. There we go. That even when I hit it. That's incredibly strange. Okay. I have no idea what's going on, Chisel. It's specifically those enemies. Trying to lock on to nothing isn't doing it. It's not making the thing pop up again. Yeah, locking on here. This bugger. Don't make me play the entire DLC without locking on, please. I've locked on throughout the whole game. Oh, well, I'm gonna, base. I just want to get to an actual bonfire first so I don't lose all of this, sir. Uh... this progress I mean with this launch no I've only been here
come on. <laughs> it's so odd. It's not a mod thing. Base game DS3 as well? Oh, really? I really like how it fucks up my stamina to the point where I can't tell if I've actually lost stamina or not. That's my best, my favorite bit. They say close and open. Can you close and open, souls? Without... Losing your position? I think you can, right? Oh, for fuck's sake, man. Get off me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can, because I think they do it for speedruns. I think they do it for speedruns. Yeah, exactly. Chisel, that's what just popped into my brain as well. Resets enemy aggro. And you can do it while you're falling off a cliff as well. Have you not died a full damage a hundredfold? It's the, the area. If you fall onto piles of ash, you don't take damage. I like that that opened in tiny screen for a little bit first for some reason. <laughs> Hello? There we go. All the Dark Souls games are half off on Steam. Neat. There we go. two of these guys at the same time. Shame I already own all of them, eh? <laughs> Shame I already own every single one of them. Viewers, yep. Defoliated? Fair enough. Oh, look at my intelligence. Very neat. Uh, I just. No, I didn't. If I, I well, past here. No, if I, I well grab. Hello. Sorceress. I mean, I was going to turn it on and off, I just wanted to get to the bonfire first. 
Because I was worried that they were going to, uh... For some reason, I was going to worry that it was going to completely reset me back to the last bonfire, even though that's just straight up not how that works. <laughs> but thanks, anyway. For the IT help, I guess. Well, I didn't nuke these angels. Well, I mean, they actually put it in an earlier area. If you remember. The angels were in, um... Lothric. Not Lothric, the bridge in Undead Settlement. Right at the start where you find Yol. There was a singular angel there. I don't remember the location of any of the angels, no. isn't that long ago. It feels like it was years ago. I've done so much shit since then, man. Fucking angels, man. Fucking angels. I did no damage to him, which makes sense. But I'm not happy about it. These guys are always paying the ass to kill, eh? They're so tanky. Tankiest man alive. But I dread to think how much health mid is going to have. Absolutely dread to think that. Boy is going to be unstoppable. He's already a tanky bastard. Before you take the mod into account. Right, let's go get killed by the angel, I guess. I think having a curse attack as well is just, it's just the worst. <laughs> the angels are genuinely diabolical. Genuinely diabolical. Blah. Indeed, so. That's how I feel about these angels.
How you feel about most things? Fair. <sighs> the urban servant. I just want to kill his little minions. There we go. Well, that works. <laughs> Why kill enemy when enemy can kill self? You quit D and D game last night. Oh, why so? Just not having fun with it, or? Couldn't be, couldn't be us. Devolved into chaos goblin nonsense. Missed two sessions, one asset poisoned a river. Decided to chase after a dragon at level four. Okay, that seems pretty fucking wild. Not gonna lie. Isn't it like down here or something? Maybe I do remember. Apparently I do remember. Oh shit. We're supposed to be the good guys, poison water source, yeah. Yeah, that unfortunately sounds about right. That's why I just don't. Just don't play with anyone I don't know. I don't want to deal with that shit, man. Too far removed from, like, the point, as it were. I wonder if my fire sword here is going to be any good. This might be a switch. Switch to lightning sword situation. If this is demon princes. Which it is. Yeah, 321. As you survive that fall. There's certain areas in this map where if you fall onto ash, you don't take damage. Much better. Sort of, yeah. This fight was so tough for you. This fight is tough. It's a hard one.
Thankfully, I have this Bork spell, so, uh... It's a wee bit easier for me. <laughs> it's never gonna be easy when there's a multi-fight that turns into a... ...a fight afterwards, right? one super enemy. Thankfully, I'm just busted. I am so absolutely busted. At this point, it is ludicrous. The second one still might be kind of a nightmare, I don't know. I just staggered him with the shield. <laughs> well, Dark doesn't do a lot of damage. Not a lot of anything does a lot of damage. Health doesn't really seem that bad though. It seems the same thus far. At least from what I can tell. Fuckers attacks then. Did you not get any sale? Or are you out for the up for this fight? Your poor damn. Two hundred euro for my application yesterday, and it hurt so much. Application for what? Swedish residence. Swedish resident permit. live in Sweden? No. I need a I need to apply to get a card to become resident there. Because I'm not part of the EU anymore. And then once I've been there for five years I can apply to be a citizen.
F. <laughs> I feel like Chisel, we're mostly past the point. From what, um, oh, I can't remember the name, but from what one of the developers said, there's only one thing in this DLC that's really that touched up, and I'm going to imagine it's Gale. Like, there might, might be lots of little bits done in this DLC, but in terms of big touch-ups, it's probably just Gale. Why is my render distance fucked? <laughs> is that normally that blurry? I feel like that's not normally that blurry. Hey, Kami. How you doing? Please, I just didn't make it. I was so close to the little nugget. Dude, I hadn't even started running down there. What the hell do you mean? Man eating goldfish sounds like something kid me would have loved to have as a pet. <laughs> True, Cubby. True. Crystal Titanite slab. guy's a dick. Many of us have either fight I love many of them. What about these shitheads? How's been TTRPG yesterday? We didn't play.
Is that my day off was still neat? Yeah, it was. It was good. It was good. I got to play some some stuff. Chilled with my partner a lot. It was good because it was one of those days where you just have no energy. And you don't know why you have no energy, but that's just the day. That's not who was there before. Where's that move set from? It's one of the Sekiro enemies, but I'm not sure who. Is it the Lone Shadows? Might be the Lone Shadows. Whatever they're called. You finished watching Free Body Problems, and it was very interesting, but some scenes are very bloody. Like, needlessly bloody, or...? The area looks different? Yeah, it's just the lighting. Yeah, yeah, there's always grass. this fight one bit it makes sense Fair some shows have a very big problem with that Some kid thought it was funny to be neutral chaotic, but was actually chaotic evil in practice. Hmm. It's maybe unfair, but it is out of my belief as a DM that unless you are running a full evil game, and that is the point of the game, Unless someone is a trusted player, they do not get to be evil. You do not let someone you don't know and trust play an evil character in DD. There's too many people just try and do shit with it. Yeah, exactly. That's like exactly what I mean. So, is it too OP? No, people just are shitheads. They just do it to be chaos gremlins. Like they don't, they don't care about interacting with anyone else. They don't care about the fact that other people are playing. That the DM spent loads of times. They just want to kill everything and anything.
that is useful and well. I offer my sympathy. You don't mind evil alignment, but tasteful evil, not stupid evil, yeah. I love playing evil characters. That guy's not normally there. I play evil characters probably most of the time. <laughs> area now yep can't believe that left him with that much health Yeah, this is usually why I don't like playing Ring City. That problem has not been fixed here. Ring City just is not fun to play. It's one of those figures where I don't like to say it, but that is just as much the DM's fault as it is that player's fault. If it's not an evil aligned game and you're playing with people you don't know, don't allow evil characters. Because it always ends up like that. <laughs> Every time. Neutral characters are fine, but when they start acting like evil characters, you don't have a neutral character, you have an evil character. Poisoning a water source, in this example, is not something a neutrally aligned character would do.
straight up evil dude situation. Depends on the reason, though. Not with people you don't know, it isn't. With people you actually know, sure, yeah. I mean, morality in D&D &D is inherently very fucked anyway, to be honest, but hey. That's an entirely different issue. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I would call you morally good, Mace. Or even morally neutral. <laughs> Considering people that you know that you dislike getting hurt is like your favorite thing in the world. Seemingly. I don't know if that's very neutral. <laughs> And it's not about poisoning an enemy's water source, it's about poisoning a river. If what Zayl said I remember correctly. Disrespectful towards the DM, yeah. Depending on what it is, definitely. Oops. 
crazy how those guys are actually semi-reasonable to kill when you do busted amounts of damage. Zero self-preservation. There's definitely a big problem with DMs being too afraid to kill players as well, though. Like, if someone poisons the river, sure, like... Obviously, in that exact instant... Maybe, you know, God isn't going to come down and smite them or something. One of the gods, but... Yeah, exactly. That's bounty on their heads. Paladins from a holy order coming for the the slaughter of innocent civilians, destruction of property. The town guards who low-level adventurers will not be. That, at that point, that's entirely the DM's fault. Literally the first session you set a house on fire? That's not the DM. That's like fucking problem player 101. <laughs> Just get rid of that person. They're a waste of everyone's time. I think they'd be funny, yeah. One. The world doesn't end unless. Other thing about those players as well is they're always the victim. Without fail, they are always the victim. That's the thing, Mace. When you've played enough, it's not funny at all anymore. Because you've seen that exact same shit. You know, 70, 80 times. Hey, 
Yeah, precisely, Kami. There has to be a reason. Like if the gang's pulling off a heist on the other side of the town? Brilliant. Right? Especially if the house is owned by like a gang or whatever that you're trying to uh, screw over. It's going to divert their resources. It's going to divert like police. It's going to divert authorities. Just doing it for doing it. Like, but why? Like, you wouldn't do that. <laughs> Why would you ever do that? One of those times as well where it's time to start asking the question, like, how advanced is this town? Because if they don't conveniently happen to have a high level mage that knows some water spells. And if they're not very advanced and all they've got is like a well and all of the houses are made of wood and touching each other like you've just burned a whole town down. <laughs> you've just burned an entire town down. Right. Old keep in the middle of nowhere. See at that point it's fine. It's still dumb, but you at least don't have to worry about additional casualties. How many guards is there, Kokomi? How many guards are distracted by trying to chase the person that set buildings on fire? I, I mean, I meant it fine from like a burning down perspective, Zale, you know, adjacency logic. It's obviously still not an okay thing to do. Also, maybe a good time for other players in the game to be like, yo, dude, what the fuck? No? Especially if you've got what are meant to be good characters in your group. Especially if you've got lawful good. Like, they should be doing something about that. Random arson. <laughs> Lawful good characters, typically not a fan.
That does no damage. Let me guess, this doesn't either. Fuck. Well. Makes sense. I mean, they're about as dark as you get. Enemy wise. They can have their Chaos Goblin game, wasn't for you. I mean, was anyone else happy with it though? Because if so, then like, yeah, good for them. They found the chaos they want, but. If it's just one guy doing it all. Sounds like a whole bunch of people getting their times ruined. Just rolling with it. Yeah, that doesn't necessarily imply one way or the other. They might be fine, they might not. really don't have a lot of luck with TTRPG stuff, so. The character was good, no way would they have gone with poisoning, yeah. Hello, Summers. A boogle? Sea salt chocolate weird stuff. I actually quite like it. It's quite nice. Unexpected, that's fair. Is way faster. That tends to be one of the biggest changes that gets made to literally every enemy, yeah. Just give them a fuckload more speed, call it a day.
I think they do that in Kingdom Hearts 2 as well. Memory serves. So that rings a bell for me. Bluish, yeah. Uh... <laughs> I'm so I'm gonna be so happy when this mod is over, man, and everything stops hitting just ninety percent of my health all the time. It's just so irritating. Fight it for all that time, do all that damage. I get killed because I can't roll out of the animation when I'm stuck on the floor. Like, why does this mini boss need to have this much health? Dude's got like 20,000 hit points. That's more than a lot of the bosses in the base game. I think that's like equivalent health. Yeah, fair enough. But like, why this much? Dragon Breath out.
Fuck for that. At least they gave you champion stuff for defeating him, that's something. I suppose. <sighs> okay, there won't be much of them left. Unfortunately, it seems like the ringed city is mostly unchanged. Which means I'm going to proceed to deal with it mostly the same as I do like normal, which is I ignore everything. Because I do not like the DLCs in this game. Most part. to kill that guy so I can do that. Can at least skip all of that section now. Thought he was gonna give me enough time to run. He does not. Does it turns out give you enough time to run? He's up there again as well. Normally have to bait him like that. Oh fucking damn it! He normally doesn't. He normally like fly down and start burning it when you get to the point where you jump off. can't remember it very well because you don't do it that much. I guess that's what you're meant to do. Very lucky I got away with being greedy there in the end, though. So, 
very, very lucky. Moaning night. Food. Plus we've deep fried squid rings. Wild. What's the food? Oh, nice. Oh, it's it's in the food. I'm with you. I I can read. I promise. I'll have a look in a second. <laughs> Mace comes out of nowhere at the mention of deep frying. Mm -hmm. Someone say deep frying here? They were more in the Netherlands. Wow. Uh, fucking astounding. That's the way you come in. Dude, this is so dark. What the hell? A salad with various stuff. Neat. I had some burgers yesterday that I made. I didn't make the burgers, sorry, I should say. I I cooked the burgers, the pre-made burgers. I did some bacon, put some arugula on it. It was fucking amazing. Incredibly tasty. Where's the cheese? I didn't put any cheese in. Why would I put cheese in when I don't like cheese? Fizzle? It's the burger law? Well, fuck your laws. I reject your reality and substitute my own. See this. That is a incredibly salady salad. Are those cheese cubes? Cubes of cheese? A salad shot. Smart, but you're sure it wasn't. It's a quote from something. It's definitely not smart. It's so not smart, I can't even remember what it's a quote from. I think it's sort out on Light Abridged. Actually. Oh, 
episode online. I really liked original Sword Art. Right up until the point where they decided to make Kirito. The fucking, like... Biggest chick magnet in human history, despite the fact that he's... Mostly just, like... A socially incompetent loader. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just fell way out of it when they were like, hey, how about we take that a step further and also make it incest? Nata. No ta. Tuna? Yeah, I had uh, tuna pasta, tuna pasta, sweet corn pesto the other day, in fact. He was too young to understand that, so it's fine. I think that's actually where a lot of the audience comes from, not gonna lie. Finally, something we agree on. <laughs> Cheese really got to you, eh, Shizzle? This time round? Was on Netflix? Wild. Is it one of these? I can never remember, man. No, you jump off of this, don't you? Yeah, into there. Oh, I'm moving through? Yep. I don't tend to explore Ringed City that much because there's never anything good here. Even if there was something good here, I can't be asked to upgrade it by this point. I'm already settled into my build. And I don't really like Ringed City anyway. <laughs> what the hell is the thing? There it is. Which DLC is better? Ring City. I don't like either of the DLCs. That much, to be honest. I would go as far to say that the DLCs, in my opinion, are easily the weakest part of the entire game with DLC. By, by a long shot. Doesn't, not to say they have the exceptional moments. They have their standout points.
the bosses are cool, but overall, like, ugh. Gale and Frida are awesome, mid is okay, yeah. Yeah, Grave Tender, like, Champion Grave Tender just might as well not exist. My opinion. Mid is fine. He's mostly just a massive slog. He's very... Like... Spectacly cool, but mostly he's just a slog. Green is nice, but phase 3 ruins a lot of the fight for me. Personally. Who is the best in your opinion? It's too much, in my opinion. Like, depending on what weapon you're playing, Free Deer becomes damn near impossible to kill. And that's really not enjoyable for me. Yeah, phase 2 is exclusively there to be a fake out for phase 3, which feels a bit shite. The day you do the thing, what thing, so? so much pain when you get to them, which will surely happen. I, I just wouldn't. Nice. I genuinely just wouldn't. first try. Uh, the day I first try mid ear will be a truly weird one. And that ladder kills you. Oh, I should do this, by the way. This will probably be stronger against him. Because he's a dragon. You wouldn't be surprised if I accidentally no-hit a Souls game. Dude, I don't know what Souls you watch me play and what Souls... <laughs> I actually play, but they're different fucking things, man. some actual magic up instead of labbing for half an hour getting frustrated that you're in an aptitude <laughs> hope the matches go well no death I, I repeat my statement God, the lightning damage. What the fuck? <laughs> What's that called again, Kami? Is that the God Run? I can't remember.
I gave it real attempts to play DS3 no death, you'd say I'd finish it within 10 to 20 attempts. No way. I die to stupid shit all the time, man. I die at least once a playthrough because one of those fuckers with the trees just runs out of the middle of nowhere and kills me. <laughs> I never even saw him coming. strats like in Xeno percent? I, don't, I haven't made a single strat in Xeno percent, man. What do you mean? Strats? I don't use any. <laughs> I use them. I haven't made any. Wasn't I the one who made the Toby trap stat? No. I accidentally put a trap down that just happened to be the right place. And then they fucking named it after me. I didn't even do it on purpose. Hugloomu was also an accident. I thought I was out of stamina. <laughs> I completely forgot the cutscene fully restores your stamina. I thought I had no stamina left. I just tried to wall slam him. I just tried to shoot him at the wall and desperately hoped it would work because I didn't think I could flinch him. It's literally just people giving me credit for shit that I didn't even intend to do. See? Thank you, Covey. That's how stuff works sometimes. Yeah, but it's not discovering strats, it's the strats finding themselves by accident. If I had known that that Toby trap wasn't even meant to have been possible, I wouldn't have tried to do it in the first place. It's only because I didn't even know. I was like, fuck it, I'll try and put a trap down, you know? See if I can place it right instead of just randomly placing it. Hey Don. Hey Don. And then Bagel was just like, I'm a neighbor after you. Green and Bagel were like, it's it's hugs <laughs> the trap now. <laughs> Genuinely, if green wasn't in Twitch chat, I never would have known. If the run with Paolumu wasn't submitted as my PB, I never would have known. Really, all the credit is greens. Bosses I beat, I've beaten the Demon Princess, and that's it. Just shy? I'm not shy. I don't like being given credit for stuff that I didn't even do intentionally.
Perhaps it a dance if you don't remember me fighting it, it got fucking mullered. <laughs> How were they compared to them? They were vanilla. They just had more health. Icebox, even though what's in the icebox? What, a no, a no death run. Did I check the boss weapon after demons? No, I was gonna do it once I killed all of the uh all of the all of the bosses here. Just check them all at the same time. Might have been something juicy. Eh. Uh... I mean, there, there could have been, but I find it highly unlikely that I'm going to get tempted away from my, my current weapons here. Demons aren't going to have blood magic either, so there's not going to be anything on that, on that front. The fire? I don't have any interest in fire. <laughs> the only reason I'm using this sword is because I wanted a... Um, An alternate to the, the lightning weapon. That's it. And then 
this one just ended up having more damage as well. Oh fuck. Okay, no, good. It didn't kill me. The day is ripe with tomfoolery. <laughs> Isn't it always, though? Isn't it always? Woo. I will. I will reject it. Chisel. Not because I don't want to give it an attempt and prove you atrociously wrong. But because there is already too many DS3s in there. There's no Judicator. That's not half light. That's not half light at all. Okay, let me correct my statement. There's too much Dark Souls, full stop. Uh, am I dead here? Yeah. I think there was like what 140 runs at least 10 percent of those runs which is 14 a dark souls based toes like game of choice <laughs> Wouldn't work for primarily single player mod. This mod does have multiplayer. It does work with multiplayer. You just I just don't want to be soft banned. Being a soft band doesn't sound like a good train to me. Pretty sure he can't walk through the door, but hey, he can rave out there, I guess. How do you feel about dark magic, Ula Seal King? My guesstimate would be that you're not a fan. You don't seem to be a fan. And that thing is really annoying. Really though? Really though? That's so dumb. Has a few of Half Light's moves, yeah. It does appear to. Can I equip this as well now? Do I have enough space yet? I do, yay. There we go. Let's just do this, because apparently I'm going to die a ton. Whoop. Hey, Berserk, how are you? You can go play with this weirdo.
Right, one handed R1. 382. One handed R1. I don't know if I really like we took Half Light's Lightning but made it linger forever. Because it was already really annoying in the first place. <laughs> is there no music or is it just silent as fuck? I think it's very quiet and it maybe builds up, but I just keep dying. Because he's just power comboing me. This one does a lot. This is just how much damage bosses do. This is completely normal. Go away. Lone Swordsman. I don't want to deal with you. It's if you're inside of that. He just casually does 90% of your embered health. Okay. Big fan of uh, homing emit force there either, or homing wrath of the gods, emit wrath of the gods. Bountiful light is replenishment, but better. It's replenishment 2.0. That's just unavoidable. I hope so as well, Chisel. It seems like that attack is very easy to get cancelled out of if you get hit as he does it though. So if one of these things, uh, yeah, if it had hit me, I'm probably just dead now. No, they just didn't fire for some reason. Cool. Oh, those healing potions are so fucking useless. Yeah. What am I meant to do there?
He's doing his back attack, so I have to roll through that. But there's a homing Wrath of the Gods behind me, and also there is homing Crystal Solbass. I just can't do it. I definitely won't be having fun, Chisel, I can tell you that much. I can tell you that one already. This boss, to me, looks like a... Oh, you won this attempt because randomly you won this attempt. Why didn't you win all the other attempts? <laughs> If he's got a move that comes out that quickly and does 80% of my embered hit points, I probably just straight up die on maximum health to an insta attack that I can't dodge, essentially. Like, let's see if this kills me. Nearly. So I have to be full health at all times. That's so far away from him as well. I can't dodge it like I did there, but that was instantaneous reaction speed. I'm dead. That's just it, I'm dead. Every high this mod gives. It gives a low. That is twice as bad as the high was good. The range in the short line is ridiculous. And it's not like you can fight it at a long range. Because it just teleports on top of you as well. Like the idea with an enemy that has an attack like that is to maybe take the fight to long range, right? But I can't because it teleports. <laughs> like it literally teleports into your face. Might be dead. Might not be. Ember health might save me. It did. Box. I'm 
I'm trying to spam out of that as well, by the way, and it's not working. <laughs> yeah, cool. Good game design. Great fucking game design. Right here. Shit boxed again, by the way. Good, he faced twos. Hello, corrupted monk. I did think you were in there a little bit, but that is actually you. I'm, I'm literally full health with Ember. Maybe I haven't put enough levels in HP. Maybe that's on me. This game has shown me so consistently the entire time that leveling up health is fucking pointless. When everything two shots me anyway. But I guess there comes a point where you have to realize that everything's going to one-shot you instead. And that's why you don't change the fact that multiple projectiles can't hit you at the same point. Because that shit happens. I really thought he'd lost his stupid attack in phase two then and he hadn't. Which is a shame. That would have been nice, at least.
Oh, I'm dead. At least I have a new... Perhaps the worst boss so far ever. Now? That's an upside, I guess. Well, so my Vigor is level 35. It's not like I have no Vigor. Just for the sake of reference here. Vigor is 35. It's not not existent. Maybe some of my other stats are a little bit too high, but I have not ignored it. Boxed. coming Hey, Scarbot. I don't know if I would agree, personally. But that's just because of one move. Overall, it seems like it's quite neat. Just two shot my dude. It's honestly a very good use of the Corrupted Monk's assets, though. Corrupted Monk and Half-Light mixed together. Wrong. 
dead. No, I'm not dead, I'm hit, though. It's fine, I'll just wait immediately as soon as I can get up. Pop great heal. It doesn't really seem to be able to do anything about that if I do that. Okay. What does that even mean? <laughs> Oh, the thing to save me. And then cheesed right at the end. You guys think it'll be iframe? I can't iframe it. It can. If I get hit, I don't die to it. But I don't seem to be able to iframe it. Like, I can be. I can't iframe it, but I can be given iframes for it, if that makes sense. It's already in phase two, Chisel.
I don't have my um I don't have my pot this time either. So I can't spend magic as much. I like that you say don't lay that curse on me after you preemptive GG'd Skullbot and then I died. <laughs> Pretty sure you just cursed me, man. Only you could curse me. Oh, I see. Seems to work. Seemingly, yeah. Seemingly. Oh, this fight isn't fun. And I can only try it 15 more times and then I can't do it anymore. One more time is all I need. This fight's not in my control. Zero percent of this fight is in my control. It is entirely dependent on whether the AI decides to do the right attacks in a row to just straight up kill me or not. Check the damage of my fire laser. It takes too long. I'll get hit. I'm dead. Oh, wait. Can I iframe it? Or was that because I was still being flinched? If so, that is too tight. Because I've tried to roll it. Like every time. <laughs> That's the first time I've got it. Don't want to do that. I got hit. Thank you. Crystal Soul Mass.
parameters of this guy's movements are fucking wild if you've not played Sekiro. You can roll it. It's just incredibly, ridiculously tight timing. Jesus Christ. Well, nearly. That needs to go up more. I didn't like that fight. Did not like that fight. Oh, step him, GG. Thank you. Let's go up. Sick how it's size v scythe. Yeah, the scythe spell is so good. Life Hunter Scythe, when you boost the casting speed, it is insane how good it is. Absolutely ridiculous. Uh... Thanks, Jesus. How are you, little listener? How be the That is what me Pretty Oh what me to imagine one of these two weapons is not going to be good against him. I don't know which one, but we'll see. Homing light is so bad. Sorcery. Whew. Old moonlight with Medea. Soul of the Demon Prince is Forbidden Sun, which is Pyromancy. <laughs> Tail of the Dark Eater, which is my dear. Strength weapon. The Scythe of Ulusil. Let's go. You actually get his moveset, seemingly. Freedo Scythes. Okay, about the stuff you'd expect. It's 
not going to be enough to get an upgrade. Is it? They're worth so little. <laughs> Hundred and sixteen thousand might be one level? No. Okay. Let's go to Gale then. Ooh. Right. I got my Blade of the Prince, the straight sword, the shield, the chime. That's me armor. Level 138. Oh, really annoying. Screw that guy. He knows what he did. You've been doing well, working on a gene you say you fully completed all of village one to four. Very nice. Surely, this is where the effort's been put in. Surely. Fire's better. people yeah yeah I know the truth Four the other day after I'd finished fighting Pontiff Sullivan because Pontiff Sullivan used some of uh, Sword Saint Ishin's moveset and Sword Saint Ishin has a fucking Glock <laughs> And I was thinking when we get to the Gale fight. What if they've changed Gale's repeating crossbow to be the fucking gun from Ishii? This is phase two, right? We've still got phase two and a half as well. All of those things where stuff could change just could happen. It's still the crossbow. <laughs> Man does not have a gun. 
That's different. Surprised them to leave it as it was. Yeah, I would as well. They're still phase two and a half. Which we're in now. Fucker, it's gonna hit me with that. Looks like that might be all he has. What the fuck? Wait, no, he can't do that normally. This scared me. I know what a railgun is. I, I am aware of what a railgun is, yes. He gets it so, but there's two more. There's two more. The developer told me about. When I was here last time. Or when they were here last time, I should, should say. They are rematches, but made harder. Yorm and Abyss Watchers.
<laughs> yeah, just so. Oops, I wanted to go to the shrine. Damn. Dang him. Hopefully. The abyss watches aren't changed in a way that's just even more aggression. <laughs> Otherwise, I would not be happy at all. I would be very upset. -y. Still, Grail's Gate Sword and the repeating bow. Neither of which I care about. I think I just go back to the arenas. I don't really know what I have to do. I'm assuming just go back to the arenas. I think it's this one? My health bar is nearly halfway across the goddamn screen, man. This is ludicrous. Absolutely ludicrous. Okay, that's the phase two transition, is what that is. It seems like the option was just add more speed. How unfortunate. Give it shitloads more speed and shitloads more health. Well, that's a shame. the health yeah my that weapons like life under side specifically won't be good against them because they're abyss watches right dark damage won't do much it didn't last time either It's also just ludicrous, though. Yeah, only 400. Pretty bad. That's just... It's just... Speed and 
It's just shitloads of speed, shitloads of HP. That's literally all it is. <laughs> I had like maybe one new attack that I saw there as well. I don't know if I care about this one that much, to be honest, since I didn't really enjoy this first time around. And it's been made worse. <laughs> okay. Let's check you on. Your arm's probably doable. That's just complete bullshit. Uh, that's not the travel point I want. I don't think, actually. Go on with even more health, yeah. Wait, is this the travel point I want? Yes, it is. Okay. You get to Storm Rulant. I mean, you don't get Storm Ruler in normal Yorm in, in this mod. So. That would just be par for the course at this point. Your store rural is you. That would be quite the twist. No thanks, crazy ladies. I'm okay. You guys have fun though. Pretty cool transition. I do reasonable damage, but what the fuck is this? Is just dark damage is busted against him. Well,
it's a lot more manageable, yeah. It's just fire explosion, that's all it is. It's literally just your, but every 10 seconds you fall over. <laughs> Sometimes more. This guy has so much health, man. How much health do you reckon this dude had? It's just chaos, yeah. It's, it's stuff like this that really makes me question the veracity of this being a magic bot. How are you meant to cast any spells in this? My shield hits for 11. <laughs> okay. Well, that was easy. Get his souls for that bad boy? Seemingly not. Oh no, he gave me some souls. That seemed kind of boring. <laughs> it kind of was, yeah. <laughs> Let me see if I could finagle something here. In terms of a dagger or something. Because magic is not going to be good. Do I have a dagger that scales with, like, magic and stuff? Priscilla's dagger? Does dark? Aerithal dagger does dark and also frostbite. The arced ebony blade. I can't get against them. Yeah, I'm just looking at all of this stuff that's available. This was poisonous. I 
Increases magic damage by 10%. I just don't know what would be the best type of damage to use against them. Fire is obviously a no. Dark is obviously a no. Lightning did pretty decent. I could boost this one up. Uh, it's the one that scales with more shit, though. This is magic and scales with an extra stat. And also has poison. I think level up this. I need three large metallics. I don't know if I can do that. I apparently can. The grab lump might be back when Stardew starts. Nice. See you whenever you do get back. That's the wrong weapon. <laughs> Not gonna lie, plus 151. It's pretty shit. <laughs> As opposed to plus 461. Could give it a go. Put one extra level in vitality. Switch this. To this. And now I should have speed rolls. I think below 50% is speed rolls. I'm not 100% sure. Hopefully it is. <sighs> oh, you know what I should also do? They'll run out mid-fight, but technically, before I get into the fight, I have the potential to do a whole bunch of shenanigans. So I can Replenishment and Bountiful Light. I can Deep Protection and Summon in Deeper Cast. Keep that just in case. Sure, put that in as well. Wondering if there's like fire resistant armor as well. But I should probably just stick with what I've got because it allows my roll speed to be pretty good.
don't know if the sage ring will be very helpful here either. I could probably switch this out. Imagining that's gonna take too long to be useful because I don't have the shield, so I can't really do much about that. Do I have a fire damage absorption ring? I do, but it takes me over the weight limit. Just want to see if there's any boost attunement that doesn't technically help me. That's got more fire. I could try and put those on and then switch this to this. Right, start with the ones that last the longest. Don't touch him. <sighs> okay. I can wield this in one hand. It should still do damage. I'm wondering if he does physical and magic mix damage. Or well, physical and fire mix. Or if it's just fire. Because if it's just fire, I could ditch all of my armor until I was speed rolling. And then just fire resistance it up. I guess I could test it. And I get my way through this by tanking. <laughs> Adds poison to your right hand weapon. Sure, why not? I'll be a mushroom. 
Not afraid of being a mushroom. I don't know if that's making a difference to my rolling speed. To be honest. I'm gonna go for it. I forgot to put my buffs on, but hey. It seems like the armor was a bad choice. <laughs> he still does do physical damage. Physical damage is worth that thing. <laughs> okay. I do not get to be a mushroom. How unfortunate. I could just try and go as heavy as I can get. While still being below that all important threshold. Of Something that's got higher fire and higher physical. That's the same physical. Much worse against frost, though. More damage, but I don't know how by how much. It's five more fire. I don't know if that's worth losing all of the frost for. Okay, not in there. I imagine this might be the best armor I've got then, to be honest. Yeah, I think it's just going to be full... Dragon Slayer. It's a minute improvement. I'll take it. I don't know what the set bonus was on this either. It's probably better to have 2% of stamina. And then nothing on the legs. Okay, there we go. This also isn't necessary. If I can... Stay under 70 weight. What would I want? Lightning damage by 15%? Oh, this does give me stamina, though. So maybe that's worth having. Maybe instead of more stamina, though, this bad boy, the Chloranthi, plus three. So that I'm basically always max stamina. Fifty was making me roll significantly quicker as well. I just want to see what this does. Nah, 
Nothing. Cool. Um, handy. It's really helpful when they do seemingly nothing. <laughs> Deep protection is the one I want last because it is the one that lasts for barely any time. Dude, the fact that half of this shit is hitting me is so bad. Because it's just clearly not. was I otherwise wearing? Now that I've stopped testing. Downgrade wise, it's really not that much. Seriously? That puts me so close. Try speed rolling instead. It's the only thing I could think hit that's really going to be worth it. It's only 80 HP. I don't think that's worth having. Maybe additional weapon damage. Grants additional stamina regen. Increases max health by 5%. Just slip flea more leaves and made tea with it. <laughs> Is it even ready yet, Chisel? <laughs> Get ahead of yourself, aren't you? FP regen is so low when you do not have both the buffs for it. There we go. Okay, fair enough.
Man, Elden Ring called. They want their fucking delay back. Jesus Christ, man. Also, Elder Ring wants its tracking back. I think this guy has more health than Yorm, by the way. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Fuck that. I'm not doing that. That's such a waste of time. Utterly crap. What was the other ring I had on? I had the Assassin's Insignia. I had that. Oh, the, this. How did I even have in here? I don't know. Great lightning spear now. Ugh. Well, I think that's that, then. That leaves just one more thing to do. Just one singular more thing. That's all the bosses, bar that just atrocious rematch. Every single one of these flames is lit. I really like these statues, by the way. They're really cool. They are very, very cool. Whoops. I accidentally, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Let me have this, okay? I just want to do this. One more time. How unfortunate. Such a shame. Oh my god. How 
much am I doing with that one? 458. This is technically better. Wait, that's the wrong weapon. That's more like it. I'm gonna say I remember doing more damage. Maybe again? I don't remember. It's got range to it. Yeah, I don't really know. Conceptually, that sounds really bad to me. But hopefully it's fun, most. Dead somehow.
not doing as good this time as I did last time, eh? Oh my god, the combos. Run out of Estus? How do you actually grab me? <laughs> I had blood of the dark so that's what I had thanks buddy oh. how wonderful how absolute you actually get the soul again oh my god <laughs> okay Yo, you could have just hardcore farmed souls from fighting Soul of Cinder for like six hours. Good to know. I think that's, uh. That's probably convergence, then, right? That's, that's it. I think that's it. All of the bosses, other than. Abyss Watchers fuck you point oh. Don't really need to mess with those guys since they just seem to be a nightmare. Yep. 
GG for finishing convergence. Thank you. It was tough. There's a lot of stuff in this. That I can't say I agree with the design of. Personally. And then there's stuff like this. Somehow they do both. This was such a mixed bag, man. This was such a mixed bag. The scaling is all over the place. One moment in in literally within the same area, you'll feel so incredibly OP. And then there'll be like three or four enemies that just make you feel so underleveled, then you'll be OP again. And then the boss will feel like it's relatively balanced. <laughs> I'm really glad I got Life Hunter Scythe, because I'm not really much of a spellcasting player. And that would have uh, destroyed my desire to play very quickly if I never managed to get a, a melee one. And Life Hunter Scythe carried this entire run. Am I now more interested in other mods? No, not really. <laughs> The problem with mods, especially game overhaul mods, is I feel like they always have that problem. Where balance is just... Right? And then... It turns into a situation of, well, I'm just not having fun because nothing's consistent. I'm super OP, then I'm miserable, then I'm super OP, then I'm miserable. Nothing's a good balance. And then you have stuff where they pull out Soul of Cinder and... Uh, Pontiff Sullivan in this. And they're just... Like some of the best fights I've done ever. And I just don't get it. And I don't want to go through all of the suffering to get to the like, oh shit, this was amazing, right? That's why I stopped Frontier. For the same logic. <laughs> it's not worth the 200 hours of suffering in Frontier to get the 50 hours of, oh, this is so cool. Right. That's Convergence. Finished. Dunzo. It's over. I am going to chuck up the Be Right Back screen and then I'll be back with some Stardew Valley in about five minutes or so once I've gone and got myself a drink, gone to the loo. Be right back, just a sec.